how's everybody doing on this sunny but cold day me and nate are loading up getting ready to roll out got a couple two or three yards to get done and uh we are we are wearing layers today because it is cold and the wind is a blowing but there we go radio was wide open sorry about that but anyway we're gonna we're gonna get going and get this day started y'all help me nate's in here baking air biscuits dad dad no for pay's sake blaming me for what you did <laughs> i didn't do that yes you did no i did not i don't yeah. know what you're talking about that break is there it goes oh 96 is cold this morning geez what did you eat mm. i don't know what you're talking about yeah sure and on the road again we'll be right back It ain't supposed to be getting this cold in North Carolina this time of this time of the year. This is late January weather we're having today. Good gracious! But the colors are pretty finely. Pull into the Circle K here to gas up everything for the week, and well, actually for the day or two. <laughs> uh, but anyway, gas has come down here a little bit, not by much. And this rascal is gonna block my pump. But if you if you have a Circle K close to you guys, it's worth getting that Easy Pay card. It saves 10 cents on the gallon when you get gas. It, it Although it, gas still is sky high. Of course, the first one you go to is out of service. Yeah, but it still, it still saves you some money. Now, just a little tip. Yeah, ye old Ford, I have to run plus in it on, these, on this load. And as you can see, even with 10 cent off, it's 350 a gallon. That's what I'm pulling. And there, there's Nate, and there's the blower. And we're almost to the job location. Going by this church and this big old cemetery over here. I tell you right now, you know what? There's so many people in that place. People dying to get in there. No, you didn't. What? Oh, God. What? He's baking again. No, I'm not. I never was. Oh, so you... Now, you just admitted it was you. Lord have mercy. Look what? at the leaves down in here. Lord, I hope this, I hope this yard we got to do ain't like this. I hope it's more like that. Oh, hell. <laughs> Guys, well, I'm not gonna film here. Uh, I filmed uh, doing this yard not, not but about three videos ago. But uh, we're on the same route, so I wanted to take you along oh, the not, journey. It's not that bad. It says you. Oh, but we've already done this one, so I'm not gonna film this one. I'm gonna film on the next yard. So anyway, we'll be back. Uh, I'm standing actually behind my customer's house. It's cold it's it's cold it don't usually get this cold here in north carolina until about mid-january 
the wind's kicking up. It's just cold. I mean, that's the only way I can say it. But anyway, what I wanted to tell you was, as this video states, I had to fire a customer. I take pride in having customer longevity. Uh, the customer's house I'm at now, I've had, the, these customers have been with me now for four years, but I've had, I've got customers that's been with me 20 years. Um, and I've only been in business for 21, so that, that ought to tell you. I don't usually get mixed up in personal stuff, but this customer had a personal issue with me. Um, we had a good re working relationship, and it was it was out of nowhere. I mean, it was out of the blue. I had no idea. Well, rather than get into a bunch of personal stuff, the customer was really, really, really picky and very, what's the word I'm looking for here? And I'm not putting down the customer, don't get me wrong. I, I, that's not what I mean at all. What I'm trying to say is when you get a good customer, appreciate them and go above and beyond the call to satisfy that customer, especially if they're a good customer to work with and they're very easy going and they don't complain a lot, <clears throat> uh, do what you need to do to satisfy that customer <clears throat> because good customers are hard to come by. But anyway, I ended up terminating service with this customer simply because there's too much stress in the world and I didn't need it. I've got enough stress in my life. I decided that the stress and the aggravation I was being subjected to was not worth the price that I was being paid. So anyway, that I just wanted to let you know exactly what this, the, what the, the uh, thumbnail on this video was all about. Um, this customer here is phenomenal. My next customer I'm going to is absolutely phenomenal. And, um, but there is, there does come a time when you have a customer that you have to fire. Um, they don't fire you, you fire them. And I've had to do that. I've been in business for 21 years and I've had to do that three times. And sometimes you have to do it. But anyway, when it, when, when it crosses over from a professional relationship to a personal uh, issue, it's time to cut the cord. And that's what I had to do. Did I want to lose the money? No, I didn't. But the money I was being paid was not worth the aggravation it was causing me. So anyway, we're going to get back to it. All right, we're in the same neighborhood, but we're going to another job. Look at the, look at the leaves all over the place. Right, we're on the job now uh, as you can see the leaves on the ground this is what we got to take care of there's a lot of leaves on the ground but if you look at the trees look at that beautiful blue Carolina blue sky it's gorgeous but look at the trees guys <laughs> y'all there's still a ton of leaves to fall this is what keeps us going all the way through January here and then we start doing other stuff but yeah, there's there's a ton of leaves on the ground already, but there's still a ton of leaves to fall. Nothing like living in Carolina. But anyway, we're gonna get set up. And we're gonna get you some good footage, mulching some leaves.
show you guys something you see me running back and forth over these leaves well this is what I'm doing to them and mower took them from this you see that be all them leaves it took them from that to this now what does that mean well you have a full-size leaf like this It'll take it two years to break down and rot into something useful. Or you can run over it for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and turn it into this, and it'll break down in three weeks. That's what I'm doing. That is natural fertilizer for the grass and the dirt and whatever you want to plant in the ground. That's what it does. It's like nature's tea leaves. So just thought that would be interesting. Let's go see what Nate's up to. Guys, there's a lot of leaves on the ground. But anyway, we're going to get this done. We'll be back shortly.
right, y'all, we're done with this one. I'm going to walk you around real quick, let you see it. That's the front yard. Well, that's the, the short version of the front yard, short portion of it. This is all the leaves. I just blow, I blow, I blow them up in the natural area. That's what he's always done. And that's what he told me to do. So that's what, that's what we do. Now let me walk you around the back. You remember when I showed the back where Nate had it all lined up? Well, that's what it looks like now. Like I said, guys, there's still a ton of leaves to fall yet. This is just the 29th of November. So leaves will be falling here till almost, well, probably in, until into January. Let's walk around and show you the front. If you're wondering about time, because I know this, this video is edited, it took us about an hour and 45 minutes and this yard is two acres. So that gives you an idea of the time it took. Now that tree right there was falling and rather than it fall in whatever direction it wanted to, he went ahead and cut it himself and he's working on little by little, by little getting it cut up. And that's what all these pieces you see here are. But anyway, this is the front guys. This is what it looked like. And you saw on the video, all the leaves that were here. Well, they're still here. They're just mulched up into the grass and you really can't see them. And over the winter, they'll they'll break down and, and uh, rot down and become nutrients in the, in the ground, which will uh, literally fertilize the grass come springtime. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it somewhat educational, somewhat entertaining, somewhat relaxing. But anyway, guys, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. The last I checked, I was at 478, and you can help me reach that goal. Please, if you enjoyed the content of this video or any of my other videos, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and comment down below that you enjoy the, the channel and you enjoy the, the uh, content that I post. But anyway, this is Brian with Big South Outdoors TV saying live big, live southern and live outdoors have a good afternoon folks you can't stop me now.